taking a before picture because I think the van is going to change a lot by the end of the day today. Welcome back. Today, we're going to finish the ceiling. I have the next two boards cut for length, but we have to work around this space here. So the board needs to go back into there, but come out for this piece of foam. I have gray spray paint for these. I don't think I can take them all the way to white, which would be great, but I think gray will be better than the black. I do want to keep them because behind them is the airbag for the front seats, so we don't want to take them out. So I'm gonna use a contour gauge to get the angles that I need, trace them with my pencil, onto the piece of wood and then use the jigsaw to cut those out. I already did this one over here. That is what it looks like on the piece of wood. There's about two angles that we need to get, so this will be good. Since I'm using the shiplap, I also need to make sure the board is facing the right way and that I have the right tongue or groove for that piece. And then that's the shape that I need. This is the side that's gonna stay long. The contour gauge holds the shape and you can just line it up. And then cut that out. see if it fits. I cut that one backwards. I guess I'll try that one again. I took a minute to go over each of these with a scotch bright pad. The plan was to take off that outer shiny layer on the foam so that the spray paint would stick better. It worked out okay. I have to wait for the spray paint to dry on those foam pieces before I can finish the ceiling as much as I want to have it done. But there's a few other things, including picking paint color, that I can do while I wait. I need to determine which color of white would be best for the van, and then I'm going to get started prepping the walls so that I can work on those after the ceiling is done. If you've ever picked out a great white color, let me know in the comments which one it was. I'll see how I do. So I'm jumping between this cool gray and this bleached slate. Obviously I want it to look white when I'm done, but I don't want bright white or like ceiling paint. I think uh, I'll pick a couple I like and then move to insulation a little more up my alley.
I want to make sure that I get the bed area insulated. That's where I think the sun coming in either in the morning or at night is going to cause the most problem where I can't fix it. If it's during the day and it's hot, I'll be able to open the doors and the windows, but I really want the bed section insulated as best as possible. So I'm going to use my 3M Thin Slate down here first and then move up to the front. I have a lot of the rigid insulation from the floor left over, so I think I'm going to use that lower on the van where it can help insulate, but it's not as vital to like the sun hitting the van and being able to block out that heat. So I'm going to start on these big panels and then fill in these gaps here in the top and then go from there and see how far it goes. Okay, long sleeves are off, ready to work. Looks like I filled all of those gaps. Now I have enough insulation to work at least a little bit on the lower section. I'm switching tasks because I'm on my last tube of adhesive for the day. I'm gonna use support boards along the wall here and over there to hold the wall up to actually like screw the wall boards in and create enough space for insulation. like a big day. I think that's going to do it for me today. We were able to make some progress on the ceiling. We have more to do tomorrow once those foam molds dry. I was happy to finally get these up. I don't know that I'll be able to put the wall boards up tomorrow because they need to dry for 24 hours, but it gets us one step closer. I'm also happy I was able to measure out and get that figured out. Tomorrow, once I know all of that pink foam board is really glued down solid, I can add in the Thinsulate. I'll also be able to insulate these walls. We didn't get a lot finished today, but we did get a lot started. So I'll see you guys rested and ready to go in the morning. Welcome back. Today we need to start by wrapping up some of the stuff we were working on late last night. The thing I'm gonna start with first is I spray painted those black pieces of foam that go in the corners. I'm gonna put those in. They actually turned out pretty great. I'm really excited with how they turned out. I picked this light gray so that it would match the colors that are up here as much as possible. It could have taken only two coats, but I did an extra one just in case. But I'm gonna put those in and get started for the day. It's a beautiful day outside. Hopefully we have a lot of things to cut so that I can get them in the van today. So much better than the black which would have been a huge contrast i'm gonna do the same color down here on this panel this houses a lot of wires and like alarms and things for the van i thought i could take it off and add plywood but i'm just gonna keep this panel but i'll paint it this same gray color so that when you're sitting in the van it all matches i'm so close to having a ceiling done just two more boards and I need to figure out how to cut this out of the last board for this side.
I was able to get the last boards in on the ceiling and both sides look pretty good. The walls are gonna come up right here so this gap will be filled once we get there. Now that I have all the insulation tucked in on the bottom section, I'm able to put in these boards, which will help support this wall and this wall. So I started working on this yesterday. It didn't go well, so I'm starting over today. I've had a little trouble on the walls with the self-tapping screws, so I'm drilling a pilot hole, and that has worked really well. I had to use that approach for a few of the boards on the ceiling because the metal wasn't even, but it has worked pretty well. This might be a Friday afternoon decision, but I've decided to change my design and put the seat over here. So I'm actually gonna take these off and cut them just a little shorter. So it was done, but now I'm gonna change it all. Getting ready to call it a day. We were able to finish up the ceiling today. I got some boards in here, insulation on the lower half, everything ready to put more wall boards up. Biggest change of the day is changing the configuration of the couch this is a good representation it'll be an l this way whereas before i was planning to do an l with the longer side here now the longer side is over there this will end up being a perfect spot to put my shoes on at the beginning of the day and a nice place to really get some work done but that is it for today i will catch you guys in the morning when i will start filling all of these holes Today, we're gonna work on insulating and putting up the paneling on the wall and filling all the holes on the ceiling. I'm gonna start with the insulation. Right now I'm just finishing adding the wood ribs and then I'm gonna go in and cover this with my quarter inch sheets. My plan is to work from the bottom up just because these sheets are smaller and then I have a little room to play with here on the ceiling, so it should work out better that way. Now it's time to go set up the saw. I knew cutting around the wheel wells would be tricky, but I think I made a plan that will work. Hopefully as I cut that, it'll fit well. Luckily the black thing that covers the wheel well goes up just a little bit, so it should cover any of my mistakes. Also, this will be under the bed in the storage area, so I should be fine to have a little bit of an air. It's Saturday, so I was able to recruit my mom to help fill in the holes on the ceiling. I'll take all the help I can get. <laughs> okay. I think it took her about 10 minutes to fill all of them. <laughs> if only I could think of another thing for her to help me with. 
<laughs> um, do you want to put up walls, Mom? <laughs> I'm gonna cover this with the quarter inch plywood. So I'm gonna make a template for this corner. So hopefully when I cut the plywood, I can round the corner pretty easily. I had to call in backup on this one and have mom help me make a template. Hopefully this will make this board go really fast. Only gonna get this one done today, but I'll save the template for the other side. What I'm gonna do is measure up 33 and 3 8, which is how wide I want it to be, and then align the template at the top so that I can trace out the corners. Also gonna make sure it's 63 inches long. So happy to get this entire wall up today. It's Saturday, so I'm gonna take tomorrow off. I will see you on Monday, where I will start the ship lap for this wall and finish this one. If you enjoyed seeing the van come together, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to see you on the next video.